put this on. So we're getting the important part of the, okay. on the recording. Okay. Um, so what do we have? We have eight people here. So only three didn't show. Okay. So here we go with the um, the drawing, the outline. So the next thing we should probably do is let's go ahead and do some. No, we're going to do the snow afterwards. We're going to do the snowman. Let's do the snowman first. So, of course, we're going to need some white for that. Or actually, you can use the gray that we already created, okay? Because uh, when you add a little black to the white, it gives it a little bit more substance, and you're able to paint better over the white. And we're going to use our uh, round brush for that. So go ahead and make sure that your brush is wet uh, with most of the water rolled out of it. And then we're going to go into our gray that we had before. And we're going to paint that snowman. Now, I'm going to show you the technique. So the trick with painting with the round brush is that you want to make sure that the point always stays pointed, <laughs> then you can't fail. If the brush starts to flail out like fingers like this, then it's not gonna go where you need it to go. It needs to stay pointed. So if you have to roll it on the canvas like this to get it to be pointed, then go ahead and do that. But we're just gonna lightly brush. And just so you know, the, the nature of acrylic paint, particularly on a darker color, is that you're going to need two coats. So you're not going to cover it the first time. Don't try to pile it on all at once. Just understand that you're going to need two coats. Keep your strokes light so that your brush maintains the point. Okay, Light strokes. And then, so when we go to paint something else, then that'll give this an opportunity to dry and we'll come back to it. Okay, so we got our snowman. Happy little snowman. How many of you guys have seen that movie, Jingle Jangle? <laughs> With yeah. Forrest. Have you seen that? I think it's so cute. No. Right. I've seen it. It was really cute. Yeah. I, I, I've i made a point to watch it since it came out. Mm. Okay, so there's my first layer of white. It's not going to be perfect. As you can see, you can still see some of the blue from the background, but that's okay. So another place we're going to have that same problem with is where the light is, okay? Because we're going to be, uh, we want some brightness there. So let's go ahead and go ahead and use that gray because we can use that as a foundation and we can put uh, pure white on top of that or maybe even some yellow to show a glow. So I'm going in just barely touching the tip of my brush so that I can maintain the point. And let me uh, give you this view. Maybe you can see a little bit better with this. Just get a little closer. Okay, so here I'm just dabbing in all along where I know my little light is. And the trick is just touch it really lightly so that the brush doesn't change its shape. And again, I'm rotating my canvas so I can get a good angle on this, just like if I was writing something. Real light stroke. And we're going to have to come back to this. So just be happy with that first layer. It's not going to be perfect. We're going to come back and make it perfect later. Okay. So there's my little light. Is, there's my first layer. And uh, now I'm going to rinse my brush out because the next thing I want to do 
is I'm going to go give the couples their little silhouette color. Um, so we can see that the girl has um, a red dress. So if you want to go ahead and get your red out, get your palette knife and put a little red on your tray. <laughs> you can do this in any order, but just remember the one thing is with that detail brush, you can't be pressing down hard. So make sure that you have enough water in your brush. Um, I got a new palette tray because that one was getting a little messy. Um, make sure that you uh, incorporate your water and your paint together. And that's too much red <laughs> for her little dress, but <laughs> uh, learn from my mistakes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll my uh, brush. Uh, red. Okay, just like that. Okay. Also, make sure you don't have too much paint on your brush, too. That's another way that um, uh, you can make sure you stay in the lines, okay? You should be able to make a nice straight line like that. All right, I'm going to put down another, let's see, how about, uh, which country, no news. Oh, here we go. It's Girl Scout cookie time of the year. I'm a Girl Scout leader, so I, I'm selling cookies and I know the answer to this question. <laughs> what is the most popular Girl Scout cookie? Is it the Samoa, the Dosi Dos, the Tagalongs, or Thin Mints? What's the most popular Girl Scout? The Samoa. It's. What was that? I heard Samoa. Thin Mint. Thin mints, okay. Anybody else? Or y'all agree? All right, let's see the answer. Of course it's thin mints. <laughs> Those are the best cookies <laughs> in the world. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, okay, this was my... Um, I'm going into my second year as a Girl Scout leader. My first year, I started uh, September 2021. And of course, you know, we're still in uh, kind of lockdown. Girls, I ate so many cookies. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. This year, I didn't buy any, or I did buy some because, you know, we do on site uh, sales and we get uh, a lot of people who, can't afford cookies or are homeless or something that we want to donate to. So I'm donating those cookies to the homeless because <laughs> they did not do me good in 2022 at all. Uh, but they are delicious. And there's new ones. There's uh, uh, the raspberry. They have a raspberry cookie and then the adventure foals. If you haven't had those, I think they're like chocolate and peanut butter. No, chocolate and fun. Yeah, really good. All right, so I got my uh, little dress going here. I'm gonna get my scarf. Again, this is gonna take probably two coats. So that's okay. Just lightly tap, just barely touch your canvas to get that small area that is her scarf. Just barely touch the canvas and you'll you'll get it done. You'll do it right. This is the part where you're just like, you just focus, focus, focus. And here I got my white all dirty down here or my gray, my snow. I'll have to give it another coat to clean it up. So there's my dress. Could even make another little layer of a scarf coming out. Oh, I picked the wrong thing. You guys tell me, um, feel free to go. Cheryl, the, the um, image is not on the camera. I don't have a producer today. And I forgot to ask, has anyone painted with me before in this group? Yeah. No? Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, we normally have a producer who, um, 
pulls all the levers and does all the bells and whistles, um, but she's not well. So it's, it's Cheryl by herself today. All right, so I got my little dress in. So now I'm gonna go in with a little water on my brush and I'm gonna go into my black and incorporate that water really well into the paint so that it's a nice like ink consistency because we're about to use this paintbrush like a pen to go in and get these smaller areas. So I'm gonna go over to her hair and we're gonna do um, her head area. And again, if you find that you're having, um, you can't get a thin enough line, rinse your brush out. Start over again. Rinse all the paint out so that all you're left with is a clean brush. Then go back over to your paint, twirl it, get that tip back, and then you'll have a nice clean point to start out with. Okay, just dot, dot. Don't try to paint, just dot, dot, dot your brush in there. Even if you have to like um, lift your brush and just kind of make it, uh, what do you call it? Perpendicular to the canvas. We're not really painting brush strokes. We're just touching the tip of the brush to the canvas. Just really light. Now let me get that side camera so you can see that a little better. So that should be a better view. So I'm just barely touching the canvas. And then coming down into that little shoe area. Just really light tap, 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 tap. Just try not to press down too hard. Keep it light. And again, if the paint's not coming off, tip your brush with ease. That means you don't have enough water in your paint. So go back and rinse your brush, come back and hit it again. All right, so there's her little body is all taking shape here. The lovers in Snowland. Doesn't matter how cold it is outside. We just love each other so much. I'll meet you under the lamp. Hey. <laughs> I had to climb out the window, but I'll be there. Yum. Hey. All right, let's see what we got over here for trivia. I wanted to ask you guys this one to see what you said. Um, nature. Let's see. Okay, how about this one? A group of ravens is called what? A flock, a murder, an unkindness, or a caw? What's a group? A murder. Murder. Who said murder? Okay, murder. Okay. And then there's flock and unkindness in a car. I don't Anybody? know. I know a group of crows is called a murder. I don't know. Yeah, about the you're right. That's right. A group of crows is called a murder. No. Uh -oh. okay. okay. You said what is a group of ravens? What's the uh, about? I feel like I want to say unkindness, but I don't know. I know. So I'm going to shut up. How they name bird groups like that. Let's see what the answer is. It is an unkindness. Okay. So weird. <laughs> yeah, because they fly by themselves, right? I didn't think that they fly in groups. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. An unkindness, like who decided that was the right? <laughs> I guess unkind for a, a 
block of them, a flock of them to congregate on your lawn or something. Interesting. Um, I only know that about the crows from that movie with uh, Cuba Gooding, Gooding Jr., The Murder of Crows. Did you guys see that one? Mm -mm. No. I only know from Samuel Jackson. <laughs> oh, okay. What was it a movie or yeah, he was in a movie. Um, the hitman's uh hitman's hitman's bodyguard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Oh, so, yeah. Ryan Reynolds. I just read too much, so <laughs> I saw him this summer, Ryan Reynolds. And oh, uh, did you, um, what? Like, in Washington, like in Washington at a conference because um you know he has that phone company uh, mint phone yeah company. and so he was there yeah. uh uh speaking as a small business owner so oh, okay all I'm right sure. so trees i'm gonna hit my trees next i'm using my flat brush for this so here i just turn my canvas to the side here i'm gonna get this camera going. Okay, so my trees are over here, of course, but I wanna turn my canvas like this. Hold on. Like this, so I could get a good angle on these straight lines that I have to draw, right? So, cause if they're like this, then I have to like maneuver to try to paint like that. We wanna make our strokes so easy. So we do that by changing the angle of the canvas so that we can almost be like we're writing with the instrument, with a tool, you know, with a pen or a pencil. We, we would use it like this. So I'm gonna go back over to my canvas and uh, I wet my brush. I dry off the excess water with my uh, paper towel and I'm going over to my black and I'm just gonna load up a little bit. Notice how I'm just loading the brush on the tips. Okay, because that's going to help me make a straight line. Not too much paint. The paint should not be bulging out of the size of the brush. Okay, it should just be enough for you to make that line. So I'm just going to lay my, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more too so you can see this a little better. Okay, ooh, that's a good view. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, start with my first line. And this is why this is a cool brush. Just lay it up against that line and pull it to the right. You can draw a little line and pull it to the right. Look at that, bam. Put it down and then go for the next line. Right, so you just barely touch. You don't push down hard. You just barely touch the canvas, and that way the brush can do what it's made to do, which is to make a straight line. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my canvas again. I got my arm resting just like if I was writing, just like if I was signing my name to a check. I got my brush down. I'm going to pull, lightly touch, and follow this line, barely touching the canvas. There's another line. I'm just going to follow it, lift, and just follow those lines you drew previously. It's just like you're writing. Don't think about it as a paintbrush. Think of it as a pen. and just move your hand the way you would if you were uh, drawing or like I said, writing a check. Okay, so I'm coming along the top. That feels a little odd to me, so I need to 
small branch or something there. And I'm just kind of freestyling some lines here. But yeah. So I, I went crazy. <laughs> What's that? I went crazy on the tree. Did you? <laughs> it happens, you know. But guess what? You can always uh, change it or alter it if you want. Because, um, but I mean, like if I didn't like the way I laid down my branches and it was important to me, I would just get a wet uh, paper towel, dip it in some water and then just rub off what I didn't like. You wanna see me do that? So here, let's say I don't like this line right here. I don't like it. I'm gonna take my paper towel. I'm gonna dip it in a little water, not too juicy wet. And I'm just going to rub that off. You see that? Done. So now I can start over again if I want. Okay, there's never, you can always correct a mistake or it can sometimes become a happy accident as my pal Bob Ross used to say, right? That's my boy. He's the reason. He's the reason why I paint. I used to watch that show, boy. I was like, "Wow, okay, even I could paint." <laughs> and that's why I'm sitting here in front of you today. All right. Actually, I did a lot of jobs before I decided that this is what I loved. I should have been doing it years ago. So if anybody has kids that want to be artists, let them paint, let them paint. <laughs> mm -hmm. they need art, you know, it's a viable business these days. In the old days, artists were stuck at home. I mean, there was no way to get your art shown unless a gallery picked you up or, you know, something like that happened. You know, these, days, like that. these days you can be on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, whatever. And suddenly, you know, you're selling art all over the country. So uh, that's what happened to Studio 928. We're local here in LaGrange and next thing, or in Oak Park. And the next thing um, I knew, we were working with companies and all across the country and in Russia and uh, uh, what was the last place we did? Um, Venezuela. Uh, it's crazy, you know? So yes, we encourage our careers, <laughs> if you couldn't tell definitely encourage our careers for young people. In fact, I'm starting a not-for-profit to support that idea. So, okay. Yes. Here we go. Back to the black. This time, we are going for the light pole. Got to get that light pole done. Now, I want you to notice again, my brush is not super soupy with water. I dab out the excess water with the paper towel, right? I'm going back in, loading my brush lightly, no paint bulging out of the sides. See that? And this is important because this is tricky. If you get your light crooked, it will probably have a slight effect on your painting. <laughs> so if you're not sure how you're gonna go about this, you could go grab your other paintbrush like this and use it as a guide. Okay, I guess you could do that. Um, or you can just start like this and just touch and touch. Okay, I'm just touching and lifting. I am not painting. Can you see this? Let me move one more, a little bit closer in. I just touched and let go. This, this is just the brush doing this. Touch and let go. Touch, let go. Touch, let go. Touch, let go. Touch, let go. 
Now, if I want to fine tune it, I'm going to rotate because this is the best angle for me. I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Just kind of touch and see where I can fill in the blanks. You just touch and let go. Touch and keep going. Touch, let go. Touch and let go. Touch and let go all the way down. Bam. That's not the straightest pole, but it's not the crooked. I actually can make it a little wider at the top. Because you know. There we go. Right? And then I'm gonna go in at the bottom and do the same thing with my uh, flat brush because it's perfect for this for making straight lines. <laughs> Just line it up against there and pull in the opposite direction. And go around to the other side. Do the same thing. And yes, I paint a lot of paintings upside down because it's easier on my eyes and my hands. Just makes sense. All right, so there's my little pole. Okay, I'm gonna rinse that out, that brush. One thing too, guys, don't store your brushes in the water because what it does is it causes the wood to swell. Then this base, this metal base will pop off. So make sure you don't store your brushes in the water. Make sure you rinse them, wipe them off and lay them down. So that if you want to paint again, you have some nice art quality uh, brushes to paint with. All right. Oh, I forgot about the uh, top of the, the lantern. So let me go back to my flat brush. Load my paint up again. And I'm going to use a combination of my flat brush and my round brush for this. So I'm gonna hit the one side with this, with the flat brush. And I'm gonna hit the- I can see. Someone trying to say something to me or someone? No, sorry. Oh, that's okay. And let me get this other side. There we go. And now I'm gonna take my round brush using my flat brush as a kind of palette. And I'm just gonna dab in and paint these smaller areas that my flat brush can't get to because it's too big. There we go. Okay, so I think uh, let's hit our snowman with another layer of um, white and we can, you know, paint in the arms. You guys can add any additional accessories. You can accessorize your snowman with a new scarf or with uh, some favorite color of yours or something like that. So I'm going to go, I'm going to use my round brush for this. And let me hit you with another trivia question while we're getting into the finishing line here. Oh, here's a good one. How many hearts does an octopus have? Is it two, three, four, or six? How many hearts? Three. Does an octopus have? Three. Okay, that was. I'm four. just gonna go with three because you sounded very confident with, you know, you sounded very confident with that three there. <laughs> she did, didn't she? <laughs> because I remember it from Nemo. Nemo. Oh, really? Finding Dory. <laughs> yeah, I watched too much cartoons. <laughs> Hopefully, I got it right. <laughs> we learn from the TV programs we watch sometimes, huh? All right, let's see. And the answer is three hearts and nine brains. Good job. Ooh, wow. 
Good job, Mona. All right. What's your favorite um, animated movie, Mona? Um, Cinderella. Like the original one? Yes, the original oh. one. Okay, all right. I like Encanto. I think that's my, that was my 2022 favorite. And of course I mentioned yeah. Jingle Jingle, but that's not exactly animation, but I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, I did as well. Everyone tells me I look like the girl from Encanto. I still haven't seen it, but I get it all the time. This is not on public. With the you do? For real? Gianna, you do. That definitely, you're giving me that vibe, Gianna. You got to watch the movie. Okay, wait. Now I got to see. Now I got to put put you on close-up. <laughs> yeah, she, she you know, her see. hair is not as dark <laughs> as hers, but she definitely has the short haircut. <laughs> her face shape. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's so wild oh you gotta see it you'll love that movie it's so good the music is so good I, yeah I think that's my favorite part is the music of it yeah the music is amazing um my granddaughter for her birthday um her her parents had a party and it was this movie premiere right and so I'm like okay I'll go you know but it was fantastic I was so pleased with it definitely the choreography yeah, yeah. too everything was good all right so i'm hitting my uh lamp with one more shade and i think it would be fun to add some yellow glow so i'm gonna that's a color we haven't used so if you want to open that up um i'm gonna i think we could benefit from a little yellow i'm gonna <clears throat> open up my yellow and uh, grab my palette knife and put a little bit on the tray. Actually, I don't have to do that. I think I'm just gonna dip into the container itself. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's bad form. <laughs> the idea is to make sure you have enough water. Yeah. In there. Okay, come on. These things are not easy to open, that's for sure. But at least they don't spill in transit anymore. So that's. I have a question. Yes. When you do the tree, because apparently I'm way behind, um, are we using the brush or the skinny the, brush? So um, the flat brush makes the straight line. So here, let, uh, let me demonstrate. So. Remember, because it makes really thin lines. So, okay. yeah, you can use that one, but then you could, but it depends which one you feel comfortable with, really. So, if you feel more comfortable okay. with a small one, you could use that too. Okay, I'll try it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're not behind, Ashley. I'm a little behind too. <laughs> My picture is a mess. Oh, cool. Look, y'all, I'm, I'm over here trying to be an artist. You got it. Good job. Good job. <laughs> that looked good. I'm not even going to show mine. Look, I'm a I'm trying, y'all. I get mine it. is a mess, too. And I have an artist living in the house with me who's going to come in here and look at it and laugh. So uh. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, I'm not an artist. And I got paint all on my hands. And, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> just like, what the heck? <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah. Um, also, you guys, if you've made a mistake, you might be able to correct it. So, again, there's always a way to work around things. Uh, I don't think mine can be corrected. I wish mine can look like yours. About mine. <laughs> I would I tell y'all. I can certainly give you some help if you feel like you need it, Miss Nelson. I will tell you this. When I went to first start of high school, I went to school. And at this school that I went to, everybody they had curriculums. Like you had majors in high in college, but they had curriculums. My curriculum was fashion illustration and design. And to do that, you had to take a whole bunch of uh, art classes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the very first class I took that was a painting class it was 
painting watercolors or something crazy, painting with watercolors. The professor, the teacher told me, you're a good drawer, but you're a terrible painter and you'll never make it as an artist. So ever since then, I just quit. Oh. I wouldn't do it anymore. I quit. Well, that was rude. That That's was, yeah, that was real mean. That was mm-hmm. really kind of horrible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could have inspired you a little bit more. <laughs> that, you know, and my little my little daughter, she paint all the time. She got a whole studio in her bedroom. She's an artist, and she's gonna come in here and laugh. I already know it. She'll help. <laughs> she won't laugh. She's gonna help you. So I'm sorry <laughs> that someone said that to you. Um, that's you know that's the sure way to kill a child's joy is to tell them that they're mm-hmm. not good at something like the first time that they tried it. So I'm really sorry that that happened to you. But um, you can be an artist if you want to be an artist and, and just believe, you know, and, and, and understand mm-hmm. that you're going to make mistakes along the way. Everybody does. I do. Yeah. So. I ha- that ship has sailed with me. I leave it to the <laughs> younger folk. <laughs> I, think I know you will keep done, but it's like y'all. you you never forget when someone says something like that to you. Absolutely. So I think they'll kick me out and say, please don't come back. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I did wind up leaving that school because I was so discouraged, but you know. <laughs> what school was that? Yeah, oh, that was Las Vegas somewhere. somewhere? No, no, it's in Detroit. Detroit. Oh, Detroit. Okay, okay, okay. It's the world famous Cass Technical High School. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Chantel, you were born and raised in um, Detroit, correct? Pardon me? You're born and raised in Detroit, correct or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Wow. What a thing to say. Uh, How old were you? I was 14. When he told you that? Yep. And That's he rude. Said he nonchalant. <laughs> Everybody yep. can learn everything. You can learn yeah. anything. And especially if, if you were years mind, old. Absolutely. I agree. At 14 years old, you had your had so school. much time to learn. I wish I'd go get him yep. and beat him up for you. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> no, he does. My goodness. Yeah. yeah and so when my da- dreams. So yeah. my daughter, when COVID first started in 2020 and they shut down all the schools, she she asked me one day, like, can you go to the store and buy me some art supplies? So I went to the Dollar Tree and got her some sketchbooks and whatnot. And she has been drawing and painting ever since she's even sold paintings. Oh, so my she's going to be taking Oh, that's that. cool. That is yeah, that's what awesome. she's going to be taking you want to do. I'm so yeah, happy. She that goes, is, that's amazing. Yeah, she wants to either be an engineer or a digital artist. She don't know which one yet, but those she are her thoughts. I love it. <laughs> she can be both because um, engineers have to learn digital programs in order to create if that's the kind of engineer she wants to be um, so learning those digital programs will help her and she can still do digital art and still sell it online that's mm-hmm. one of the things that I'm teaching so in the new not-for-profit we're working on working with uh, different organizations in 2023 is to make it possible for um, kids to understand the different types of careers art careers that are available to them not a, not only in a traditional sense but also uh, the digital realm so good for you being that's cool. <laughs> so are you teaching all age kids or just we're uh, working with ages 17 to 23. So because we're okay. feed, we're feeding them into a pipeline of careers, art careers. So they have to be, you know, done with school or, you know, ready to make mm-hmm. a transition into, um, you know, what their work life or career right. life is going to be. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. And so many wonderful things have been happening so far this year. So 
Um, we're looking to get started by uh, May of 2023. So it's just around the corner. Keep you posted. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. That's a huge accomplishment, especially to, you know, be a part of that. Yeah. Oh, ooh, hey, my name is Roger. All right. So I'm using, I'm cheating again. I'm using my uh, flat brush as my palette. Uh, so now I'm just uh, getting my point back. That's why I'm going to come in and get my little fingers on my snowman. And again, oh, boy, this looks a hot mess. <laughs> well, see, you started at a disadvantage. You had years and years of hurt riding on your ability. So you need to forgive yourself. And uh, and if it's possible, just paint over this whole thing. Start all over again and believe in yourself this time. Or I'll send you another canvas for free. If you paint again and this time, really, 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 really try. We're going to undo the harm that man did to you. Or was it a woman? It was a, it was a mean <laughs> little man. It was a mean little man. That's just. Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. All right, so I'm going to a little stop. nose. So here I am. I'm dot, dot, dotting. So just barely touching the tip of my brush to his little mouth area. So I just did dots. Okay, so we got snow. And that's it. Oh, we got snow and we got uh, snow on the branches. We want to put some snow on the branches. Oh, snow on the branches. Snow on the branches. <laughs> So got to the branches. So in order to make our snow, you guys, you have to make sure that your brush is a hundred percent dry, your flat brush. Okay. So I'm uh, taking my brush, I'm drying all the water out of it. You can't have any water. Okay, and then I'm making snowflakes. What was that? I'm sorry, are you making snowflakes or just the snow on the branches? Oh, uh, well, we're going to do both. So okay. let me get my palette knife. Oh, oh good. Dropping things over here. All right, let me uh, get my palette tray back. All right, I'm going to put some white down right over here where my gray was before because I'm just going to put so much white that it's not going to matter that that previously almost dry gray is. So let me put that down. Okay, the other trick to getting the snow done is you cannot have a lot of paint on your brush, as I mentioned earlier when we got started. But you are the master of your environment. So <laughs> better to go light than to go heavy, right? This is what I would do if I were you. We're going to turn your... Um, we're going to turn your flat brush, okay? This is what your flat brush normally looks like, right? We're going to turn your flat brush into a fan brush, okay? We're going to squeeze it in the middle. You're going to start to see the brushes fan out. We're going to fan it out this way. We're going to fan it out that way. We're going to hold them kind of like this. Can you see that? Let me turn on this other camera. Let's see if that helps you. Okay, can you see that? Wait, <laughs> trying to get the right angle. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me do that again. So this is what your brush looks like normally. You're gonna stick your thumb right in the center of it, but it's gotta be clean, right? It's 100% clean, 100% dry. We're gonna fan it out like a fan brush. Okay. <clears throat> Just like that. We're gonna go over to our paint. We're gonna go over to the white. And I'm just dipping the very tips. I'm not putting the whole brush in there because we don't want that much paint on our brush. Right? Can you see how much paint is on my brush? Hardly any. Oops. Let me put it. You see that? And you see there's a little bit more paint right here. That's going to going away. That's too much paint. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that off. 
And I'm just going to start. Uh, let's start over here in the corner. Let's do some test taps. Super light pressure, like you're barely touching the canvas. Just willy nilly here and there. Very light. Can you, oop, can you see that? So super light, the more you spread out the brushes, the further apart the snowflakes will be. And just don't push down, just tap super lightly. I'm so used to painting digitally, this is weird. You're so used to what? Painting digitally, this feels weird. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting that you say that since that's the only way I knew to paint. And then I'm just tapping it in, tap, 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 tap. So less is more. So I hardly have any paint on my brush and that's great. So really small amount. If you need to dab your paintbrush on your paper towel first to make sure you don't have too much paint, that's what you need to do. So look, I got all this paint on my brush. I'm dabbing it on my paper towel first. Get all the excess paint out. We just want little remnants of what's left. Real light, just touch here and there and change the direction of your brush. Swirly, swirly, swirly. Here and there, there and here. <clears throat> so don't go back and get more paint, just work over those areas that you already laid down, blur them. You know, so it's like, you can see some of the snowflakes, but not all of them, all of the snow. Okay, when I'm dabbing off the excess paint, and then start at the bottom, work your way up. Turn your brush vertical, horizontal, vertical, try not to do the same direction. And so there's just some flurries. Okay, and then as for the um, the branches, we're just gonna dip that, dip our uh, round brush into the white. And then let's just go and put some dabs of paint along the branches on the top. So just kind of dab that on very lightly over the top. So your snow's gonna land on top of the branch and not below, right? Unless it's a, like a dripping icicle or something. But um, that's where your snow is gonna land is right on the top. Really light strokes. Better to put super light, um, be stingy with the snow than too heavy with the snow. And then just kind of blend it together. Just kind of dab along the top, on the top of the branches. It snowed and some snow cling, cling to the branches. Oh, and let's put some snow on top of the, the light here. And you can just kind of brush that in. I'm going to give my snowman one little layer more of paint. So he's nice and bright. And you can even go in and um, if you want to do some like individual kind of uh, snow around the base of the of the lamp. Do that.
and actually I'll probably go in and uh, clean up this area where I got black paint all along the snow bank here. Actually looks a little bit more natural because snow's never that clean unless nobody walks on it. Something really wonderful about walking, getting up early one morning and see all the places where the snow hasn't been walked in yet. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking to people who live in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't see a lot of snow out there <laughs> not none at all not none at all huh lucky 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 uh, unless you look to the mountain I mean Mount Charleston it's got snow on it right now yeah you could look over there I don't know if we gonna see it I'm touching uh -uh. no I don't need to I don't need to feel it I, that's one thing <laughs> I don't even <laughs> I can see it. That's from a distance. That's fine. That's that is good fine. enough, huh? <laughs> but baby, I don't need to feel it. That's I don't need nothing. Okay. I'm the same way. Right? Good. If I need ice, I go to my refrigerator. Okay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to tell you. You know, I know my feelings on it already. <laughs> That's the way I feel about uh, it, man. Snow can stay. I'm not a fan. Hey. So there we go. <laughs> How are you guys doing over there? Gianna, how'd you do? <laughs> Let's see your. You guys can all hold up because what I'll do is take some pictures so that I can share them with um, Cynthia. You guys know Cynthia Burton? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. I do know who she is. Yeah, she held with all of our events. Okay, yeah. Um, she, um, of course, we've done so many paintings with her. So I always send her um, uh, the oh, image right. that we take How together and share with her. Uh, the um, uh, recording, which from this one is just from the background forward because I didn't hit the record button, so you'll forgive me on that. Um, and then also, very nice, someone... Diana. What's that? I'm just saying, very nice for Diana's picture. Let oh, me I see, Diana. I didn't see it. Okay. Didn't see it. Hold on, let me look. Okay, I'm seeing it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good job. Hold on, I can't see it. See, that's a little hard. <laughs> yeah, she, she, don't don't do she don't do this. This it that's, looks like you do this. That's very Hi. original. I like that. This, I, this is my this. second job. My iPad. <laughs> 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 I love that idea. I'm gonna steal it right now. I'm gonna put a little heart here too. Uh, this was and mine. so what we'll do is we'll take a little photograph together. That's pretty. All right. Potato, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I tried. I tried. But I don't even want to see you. Like oh, let me see. I missed it. Let me see yours, Gianna. Sorry, what? Gianna, show yours again. Oh, right. With the hearts and stuff. I like it. I like it. He really did it. That is pretty. That is. Well done. Well done. Her tree came out really good. Everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. I'm so scared to show you mine. I'm going to laugh. I know CAC is a great place to work, but I don't know, Deanna. I think you missed your calling, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> good old artist. Right. We'll have to tell Cynthia. I'm not even close to being finished. You have to create an art department. Huh. That's okay. We can still take your take okay. a picture, uh, partially finished. And of course, here's the thing too: is if anyone on the team who didn't make it today wants to have access to like the um, the background portion, just let me know because I can share another video. It won't be this one, but it will be a video of the com the painting complete. So if you run across anyone who says they want to see that miss part, let me know. Um, so what I normally do uh, right about now is um, ask you guys to hold up your paintings and then I take some photographs for you guys to share. Y'all better not laugh. 
Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 oh I love your snowman, actually. Because it looks like you put it uh, where there was light coming on the other side. So that's really nice. Right. I put that it all wrong. No, it's there's no we wrong. Any water right now. No, there's no wrong. It's just different. You know, you're no wrong. Different, oh. different environments. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> We're all creators of our own environment here. Okay, good job. You guys all did a good job on that um, lamp pole. Yeah. Get her out of here. Get her. Good job. Mona, if you turn off your background, we'll be able to see your painting, but your background is prohibiting us from seeing it. There you go. Very nice. All right. Mona, yours look good too. Uh-huh. Good job. Look at that. Hey, you guys, uh, I'm glad, Cassandra, that you set yours up like that. Please um, hashtag, take some pictures, whip out your camera, and hashtag Studio 928 on Instagram. Uh, I'm happy to see uh, your work and share it on my, uh, my, my profile there. So let me know when you're ready. Ashley, you're going to come in. We're going to do Unfinished too. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, Latoya, she's got hers. Okay. That's the other thing. Yeah, that's that how we paint. Yeah, you can actually see hers. Uh, Cassandra, her, her camera's on and it's off and it's on and it's off. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna take some shots. So uh, let me know. And smiling faces are are also appreciated. So let's. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take a couple of warm up shots, and then we'll do one, two, three. Oh, that's fine. And we will. I'll take a bunch of them. So, cause or Ashley is <laughs> rushing to finish. I would say don't rush. You know, finish it off camera so you can take your time. And just, oh, okay. you know what I mean? Because if you rush it, then it's not enjoyable. Okay. All right. So I'm still taking some shots. Yeah, it's always better when you can like take your time and have a drink, go to the bathroom, take a second look at it. Like it's going to look totally different tomorrow to you. So all right oh, this is cute Yay. that's cute actually they look really Thanks. nice well keep holding it up um Gilly, uh gianna because we're going to take some more shots and i want to get your faces now i got your images now i can see your faces next to your image oh wow i don't have on no worries <laughs> no worries no worries. It's not like going, you know, on the internet. It's just going between you guys on your team. So it's cool. All right. So I'm going to tell you when it's time oh, for the wow. money shot. Okay. So uh, one, when I say three, that's when it's going to be the money shot. All right. So one, two, three. All right, one more, one more, just to make sure. Uh -huh. And actually, I'm going to turn my camera off because I don't need to be front Where's and center. My What's that? Where's Brittany? Like, Where's Brittany? Yeah, I, I don't see Brittany. Yeah, I can't what see happened to her? She was with us most of the time, all the time. So, Brittany? Here, I, I'm just going to turn off my camera for a minute. So, well, okay. I'm trying to hide this. Too. Okay. Hold on. I have to do this. Hide self view. There we go. So now it's all you guys. All right. Okay. So uh, this one is the money shot. So uh -huh. center. <laughs> teeth. Uh -huh. I need to see teeth <laughs> and paintings. Teeth and paintings. Teeth and paintings. Okay. I see beauty. Oh I love God. it. I love my it. Hair. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the best oh one, you guys. Okay, yeah. one more, because y'all didn't move, so... Oh, now you moved. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, one um, more, one more. Okay. Let me okay. Make okay. This one is going to the Oscars. Okay, all right. There oh, we go. Yeah. There we go. Yay! 
Okay, gotcha. Woohoo! Okay. And Ashley, yours looks great. You need to take your time with that. I don't want to see you rushing through it. So, um, Ashley, pull yours up again. I just can't see it. It's cute. Yeah. Show yours. Everybody's tree is really good. I just, yeah. <laughs> I think everyone you did, did great. Good at the job. You did great. It's not like you do this every day, you know. It's like um right, right. Self, uh, well, this is my only at all. Be as kind to yourself as you are to your coworkers. So, yeah. All right. I'm back and I'm here to say it was a pleasure meeting with you ladies. I hope you had some fun and that you have paint left over so you can paint again. All right. So, um, as I mentioned before, please hashtag Studio 928, where there's always time for art. And I thank you so much for painting with me. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. It was fun. Bye. Good. Thank you. Good. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Take care, you guys. Bye. -bye. All right, Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, Lord, I don't know how to get off of this, though. <laughs>